In the intercept form of quadratics, you can automatically know what the intercepts are. And when we say the intercepts, we mean the x-intercepts. You can see that if you substituted in a 3 here, you'd get 0. And then 0 times whatever this value is, let's say 0 times um, 8, is going to be 0. And so an input of 3 gives an output of 0. That's an x-intercept. Also, if we substitute in, in a negative 5 here, we'd get 0. Then we'd get negative 5, uh, sorry, we'd get 0 times, or negative 5 plus 5 is 0 times uh, negative 8, which is also 0. And so we get that negative 5 also has an output of 0. So here we have our two intercepts. Now, in order to find the axis of symmetry next using the intercepts, we know that any two points on a parabola are going to be equidistant to the line of symmetry. So that means we need to find the average of these two points. So the axis of symmetry is going to be at x equals negative 1. We also know that our vertex is going to be somewhere on this line. And so we choose that the input of the vertex is going to be negative 1. And we want to find out what that is equal to by substituting it into our equation. And so the output of negative 1 is going to be negative 4 times 4 is going to be negative 16. So on the graph, um, this isn't going to be great scale, but I'm just going to put this down here. So then negative 1, negative 16 is our vertex. Now, finding two other coordinates, because we really want four other coordinates other than the vertex. So let's choose 0. That's really easy to put in. So let's say, what is going to be g of 0? 0 minus 3, negative 3. 0 plus 5 is 5. Negative 3 times 5 is 15. negative 15. So we have one coordinate that is 0, negative 15. Now, again, we want to use the axis of symmetry to find the other coordinate. So we have another coordinate that has an output of negative 15, the same as the 0 here, but have, that's going to be the same distance from the axis of symmetry on the other side. So negative 15 is 1 away from, sorry, 0 is 1 away from negative 1. And so that means that this coordinate is negative 2. So again, negative 1 is 1 unit from 0. So negative 2 also has to be one unit from one. This distance from here to here has to be the same because any coordinate <clears throat> on the parabola is going to be equidistant to the line of symmetry. Finally, we want to make sure that whenever you're whenever you're drawing the parabola, whatever step you do the drawing of the parabola, you want to make a nice U shape. You also don't want to have the parabola make a circle. Sometimes, you know, you tend to like go like this when you're drawing it. You don't want to do that. 
you want to make kind of a nice U. 